Hello my fellow game melters, what's going on? I'm Valentin and I continue my quest to help you find the best Android games out there and not have to go through tons of pay to win crap on the Play Store. Today we have 5 new games and the only negative thing about that is the fact I was almost going to miss making this video because I was too busy hunting space pirates and vomiting all over the place. No, not literally vomiting, but rather playing the platformer Puker which you will see in a second. Without too much hassle, let's just jump into today's list and see what we have in store. Number 5. Pinout Pinout is a game made by Mediocre, the guys behind the absolute gems of Smash Hit and does not commute. In my mind, their name stands for quality and attention to details and their newest title has both of those attributes. Pinout is a pinball game with a twist. Instead of going through the same old level again and again trying to achieve the high score, you get to actually progress through different levels. That happens by you flipping the handles and sending the ball further and further away. There is a timer that you need to race against and missing your shots will waste valuable seconds. For most people, pinball would be considered a minigame but that's not the case here. In fact, there are mini games inside Pinout which can bring you extra seconds. There are also power-ups and everything revolves around time. You can freeze time, slow it down or even make sure it only runs when your bow is moving. The fact that the music is tied to the timer is absolutely incredible as well. When the timer is not ticking, there is no music. When time slows down, so does the soundtrack. Graphics are as vibrant as they get and the whole game is just full of action. It is not exactly reflex based but you still feel on your toes the whole time you're playing it. In classic mediocre fashion there is only one in-app purchase in pinout and it lets you save your progress. If you are playing the game for free you have to start from the beginning each time which is a hardcore challenge in itself. The full game can be purchased for 179 British pounds and I say it is definitely worth the money. Go ahead, try it out and let me know what you think. Number 4. Drop Tale Drop Tale is not a game about dropping anything, it is actually a game about a drop of water. As the story goes, a magician with annoying gnomish voice makes a great discovery managing to give life to a water drop. You play as that drop yourself and you have the ability to switch between states. From liquid to a cloud of vapor or an ice cube, the choice is all yours. Water in the different states has different properties and it actually affects its surroundings. For example, the ice cube can freeze a green leaf, creating a staircase for yourself to reach new highs. The vapor cloud on the other hand is pretty much flying as you would expect and therefore it can go over deadly cobwebs without dying. In the beginning of each puzzle you have a certain amount of water and if it runs out you die. You lose some water every time you move or transform and the different states consume a different amount. Puzzles are cleverly designed and the game flow is good in itself, managing to teach you about all the different interactions. Graphics are stunningly detailed for a game of that scope and each level feels hand drawn. In fact, the graphic style somehow reminds me of Bastion which is one of my benchmarks for good aesthetics. Levels also have different side objectives to go for, giving the game some amount of repairability. Drop Tail is absolutely free with no ads or in-app purchases, so there is no excuse for you not to try it out. Go ahead, download it and leave a review on the Play Store because developers like that should be supported. Number 3. Tavern Bro Nope, that's not Hearthstone's Tavern Bro. It's not a card game at all. Can you believe it? There is a new game coming out and it's not a card game and it's not a Clash of Clones game either. What is Tavern Bro? The educated answer is probably turn-based tactical game. My answer is fun, great fun. Even though I suck at it and I get my ass handed to me every second game. At the beginning of each match, you get to choose 3 heroes that will start the game on your side of the hexagonal field. Each hero has different stats in terms of health and damage and most of them also have special abilities like buffing allies, debuffing enemies or just dealing damage to everyone around them. Positional play is super important as ranged heroes can only attack if there is nothing between them and their target and there are also abilities depending on the presence of adjacent allies or enemies. The match ends when one of the players manages to kill 3 heroes of the opposing team. Each time one of your own dies, you get to choose a substitute to come into play. Sometimes it is worth sacrificing a hero just to get your substitutes in earlier and change the tide of the game. Tavern Bro is a free game with enough purchases but believe me or not, I couldn't find them. It might be the case of the developer putting that permission in with the idea of enabling some kind of microtransactions in the future. If you are a fan of tactical games, you just have to check this game out. It might be worth downloading for everyone else as well since it's an easy to pick up game offering a good challenge. Number 2. Egg with 5 G's Ok, here we go. This is a game about puking. There you go, I said it, I never thought I'm gonna say it but there it is. The main character seems to be a chronic puker which might be the result of him falling 50 meters into a giant egg. Please don't make me explain this game, I have no idea what's going on. However, I still love it. 
the graphics seem to be heavily inspired by Adventure Time and everything in this world is insane to begin with. Since you are puking everywhere, you are making quite a big mess, but seriously, I didn't expect that the walls and floors are going to make funny faces when you vomit on them. That level of detail is simply astonishing. Egg is a platformer game where you finish the levels while collecting some golden eggs, golden nuggets and killing some robot chickens. Yep, that's right, evil chicken robots are out to get you and they should exit your face which make you die. Again, no comment. As if it wasn't weird enough already, there are different types of puke. Yep, different types of puke. I don't think I will ever get to use that word again in a game review, so I'm just gonna abuse it now. Some puke makes you fly, some puke makes you stick to walls. Puke is magical, get used to it. There are also bosses, who are of course chickens, coming out straight from Chernobyl farms. Level design is great and there is constantly something going on, mainly because of the fact that you can't stop running, and puking of course. I seriously can't say enough about this game in the short time that we have today, so there will be a full review of it coming soon. Egg with 5Gs currently costs £1.9 and is certainly worth that price. Please go ahead and play it, I really want to hear your comments on it. Number 1. Space Marshals 2 As I mentioned in my other video, after doing chicken farming for a while, I have now decided to hunt space pirates. There is nothing brave or honorable about that decision, I just want the shiny new weapons you get as a result. That's exactly what Space Marshals 2 has to offer, missions jump packed of shooting and explosions with rewards after each one, diversifying your arsenal. The game is a twin stick shooter with a good story and even better guns. Like seriously, I've never put so much thought behind choosing my gear for a mission and yet I regret my decisions every single time. I'm starting to think that going for a sniper rifle might not be the best choice when entering a cave. Also, if the place is full of explosive barrels, please don't bring a shotgun, it makes things a bit complicated. Space Marshals 2 also excels in terms of visuals and sounds. Every gun has a different projectile and they even sound differently. Environments are crazily detailed and even going into a random room in a house feels like exploring. There are also things hidden around the world waiting for you to collect, giving you tons of reasons to replay missions over and over again, going for that 5 star rating. The game is free with a single in-app purchase for the premium version. That gives you access to a premium reward after each mission and also a futuristic vending machine to spend your collectibles on. It is fully playable and fully enjoyable without paying anything, but as soon as it exits early access, I will give those people my money because they deserve it. And so should you. That was all from me for today guys, now I'm gonna go ahead and do some puking platforming. Thank you very much for joining in, I really appreciate it. The question I have for you today is, what games have you played recently that made you go wow? Please share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. Thank you once again for watching and I'll see you next time.